Carter Share, and I'm building a massive Skyrim bridge over my pool that's gonna be 20 feet above the ground. I built bridges before across my pool starting last year at the old Timur house where all I had to do was just lay down a piece of wood across the pool and we could stand on it. But now we're at a way bigger house with a way bigger pool and putting a piece of wood across it is just not going to work. A few months ago, I proved it was possible to make a piece of wood long enough that would span the distance of the pool, but it was super sketchy. Be careful! Oh, oh. The goal for this video is to build a sky bridge that's stable enough to be able to stand on it, walk on it, and even ride a bike across it. I'm gonna give myself four days to pull off this project, and for those of you wondering why I wanna build a massive sky bridge across my pool that's 20 feet above the ground, well, it's because both Liz and Denise said it's not possible, and I wanna prove them wrong. We made it to Home Depot, guys. We gotta go in and go grab some wood so we can finish the build today, and hopefully, test it out and jump off. Already did it for you. We got a bunch of stuff from Home Depot. We got a lot of wood. Let's get back home. This is ready to draw. We have it hanging on the edge. If you guys remember this, this was our wrecking ball. I'll show a little flashback. This thing was insane. Three, two, one, go! We are now gonna be taking this thing down. Here is what's left of the wrecking ball. And we're gonna be repurposing this and building a sky bridge above the pool. I am so hyped about this because I've been wanting to do this since even before the wrecking ball. Actually, this was never even meant to be a wrecking ball. We built this initially to be a sky bridge and today is the day we're actually gonna put it all together and make a sky bridge. But we gotta get it down, so let's see how this works. It's working. It's actually working. All right. Oh, we got the hooks going up. Look at the sheer size of this thing. That was working Ooh. smart, not, not hard. Gives me a good perspective of just how big it long. It's 36 feet end to end. One side down, one to go. That was a little scary. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. We're pretty solid. Didn't have far to swing. We're on day number two of building the sky bridge. We have one piece complete already and we are rebuilding the second one because, uh, well, the wrecking ball did a lot of damage. I guess it was so heavy swinging around that we've actually had to rebuild this entire one right here. So this one is now rebuilt and we just need to add on the tensioner straps just like that one. So we gotta add the two by fours, the tensioner straps, and then we gotta bring the scaffolding up and then lift them up onto the scaffolding and then from there continue the build of the actual platform railings and everything else that a sky bridge is gonna need. It's a beautiful sight. We got both of the support beams is it heavy? All right, throw up my back. That's why we got four of us. We're gonna put two on each side and we're gonna bring them across. We have not one, but two towers. They're gonna span across the top here. That is gonna be the height of the sky bridge, which is uh, pretty high. It's very high. Well, how wide is it gonna be? Is it gonna be as wide as that? It'll be about that wide, yeah, exactly. Then I'm not worried, I can do that. So it'll be just about this wide, which gives you, you know, yeah. good place to stand. The crunching doesn't give me a lot of confidence. Well, we're gonna put different stuff oh. on it. This thing is so long, we have to walk it across the pool like this. We got four strong boys here. <laughs> Don't slip. Let me give you a, a sneak peek of what it's gonna look like from here. It is absolutely magnificent. To have this at the height of these, to be able to ride like a bicycle, you could hoverboard, you could like jump across. It's gonna be a crazy bridge. I've never built a bridge, I don't know. It's just like, this is gonna be so fun. Now we just gotta lift them all the way up, which is much easier said than done. These things are heavy. All right, we did it. We got the one on and uh, it is slanted. But soon we will have this side pulled all the way to the top. I kind of squished my finger. It's not looking too good. It's been a long week. It's Friday. I did kind of squish my fingers. You can kind of see it's got like some blistering underneath. I hit both of these. I think I'm gonna be fine. I iced it. They don't feel great, but I'm not gonna lose a fingernail or anything. So it should be okay. We're gonna lift the last one up. And then we're gonna be in a really good spot. Come on, stove! Come on, clean! Get ready? One, clean stove! Yes, that was very scary. All right, no more pinched fingers, please. All right! 
All right, that looks awesome. We got Bailey up here. He came right over. Take your phone off and your watch. Stop. Is he gonna make it across? Take, he's going. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's doing it already. No hesitation. If you go to fall, just go down and put your feet on the straps underneath. This is absurd. I don't like this because I feel like it's gonna roll out. This is so scary. There's not much I can do. I can't even get up here. You're doing fine. You got it. Ah! Dude, this one's cracking. No, no. Absolutely not. Oh, no. Oh, oh man. Here he goes. All right, guys, Bailey is going back across right now. I honestly, he's done this a few times and he's fallen before. Here comes the win. Guys, we'll hit that like button right now if you uh, think he's gonna make it. I think you got it, Bailey. These things are wobbling with each step he takes. <laughs> nice. Later that night. I'm going for a test. We're not done. We haven't put the plywood on, but we want to test the uh, tension straps. It's good. I mean, all the weight's on the front of these towers. Oh. Oh, that looks sick. So Andrew just took the tension off. We are going to uh, try to tie these together. If you can see, this one just kind of bows out a little bit. So we're gonna put some more straps across, more of these uh, these studs. We're gonna kind of continue them across to hopefully make this nice and sturdy. The goal is for this bridge to be strong, sturdy, and safe. So then when we film some crazy last to fall in the pool videos, we can go crazy and not worry that this bridge is gonna come crashing down with us, which would be terrifying. This thing, I don't know if you guys can get a sense, but it is scary to be up here. Woo! It is terrifying. <laughs> All right, guys, we are on day number three of the Sky Bridge, and it's really coming along. Let me show you what we got. All right climbing up the huge tower. Wow, okay. It's looking good. Andrew put some serious work into it. He's putting the slats across. So it's actually starting to kind of look like a uh, like a train track. The wobble is really scary. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to vlog at the same time. I don't know if I should try it or not. Oh my gosh. I'm a lot more scared than I thought, guys. This is freaky. I mean, it's not done. It's gonna be a little bit better, but the idea is we're trying to ride bicycles and hoverboards and scooters across. This is gonna be terrifying. This is gonna be really scary. <laughs> And yeah, we thought it wouldn't be as wobbly. It's a little bit less, but it's still really wobbly. I'm terrified. I thought I was gonna walk right across. A few productive hours later, and we are really starting to come along. We got the surface about halfway. We just gotta make it the other halfway. Add the railings. We're gonna be running across this thing. We're gonna be hoverboarding on here, handstands. We're gonna be doing flips into the pool. It's gonna be so much fun. It is day four, which is the last and final day of the build. We really wasn't supposed to go four days because today is the actual day of the competition that we're going to be filming, which is the next video we're going to be filming. But uh, it's not done. So Andrew's up there working on it. We're getting the slats across. I got to cut some plywood and then we got to get this whole thing finished. So guys, it is crunch time. Let's go. Let me take you guys on a little tour up into my office. This is where we've been building. I gotta climb over one hand because I'm holding you guys on the camera. So you climb to the top, and then once you're all the way up here, we gotta work our way out back to the middle. It's wobbly and scary. We don't have the railings on yet. We only have the wood about halfway, so I'm gonna go finish the rest of that wood. So I hope this gives you guys a good, a good idea of what it's like to work up here. It's really sketchy, and you gotta build the own, your own floor as you work, which is actually pretty cool. But you have to be very careful. If you do something wrong, you might drop something, or you might fall. This is a monumental moment, guys. We finished laying the board for the sky bridge, so now we can officially 
walk across. Come with me. This is amazing feeling. All this hard work. Oh, a little crack right there. It is sketchy, but you know, it's also kind of meant to be sketchy. It's part of the point, but it is safe. We did the math. We should be able to hold plenty of people up here. Hoverboards, bicycles, everything. Look at this, just stepping across as we walk. I mean, it's wobbly, but it's sturdy. Oh my gosh. Look at me. That's literally the shadow. This is outrageous. This is going to be so much fun to jump off of. I don't even know like what it looks like. Guys, what does it look like from your perspective? Because for me, I'm walking across like the biggest pool. I mean, this pool is so wide. This span is 36 feet. A 36 foot skybridge. I honestly didn't think I would be able to do it. But... That was so sketchy. What was that? I don't know. I think we're okay. I hope. <laughs> Woo! Well, we're not quite done. We have a few bits and pieces more to add to make sure it's safe for everyone that comes over and uses it. And then uh, we're just gonna get jumping off, I guess. The sky bridge is done. Now it is time to get people's reactions. Bailey just got here and he's already climbed up, ripped his shirt off. Yo, what do you think, Bailey? Oh, dude, this thing is great. I love this. Oh. So majestic with the sun. Adam's on the straps. Yeah, these are strong. We're kind of testing the weight limit right out the gate. It's supported on the rails. Yeah, we'll so. try the lightest flip right now. I think it's gonna be fine. Look at your shadow. That's awesome. Look at that engineering. Dude, engineering is phenomenal. I am proud of all the struts going across, the little diagonals that you see. It's the little things that matter. And we're almost done too. Have you still seen this? Uh, no. Here's Stowe's first reaction. Oh my. Look underneath. Look so how solid. We're going on top of this thing. That's right. <laughs> we're gonna be hoverboarding, dancing, jumping, flipping, bicycling. TikTok uh, ice skating or rollerblading. <laughs> One wheeling. TikTok and it looks solid, I will say. So it's not going up until the challenge. Yeah, starts. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud of myself. I yeah. want everyone to go up first. It's a little shake, I hear the shake. If I flip, you have to come up now. You can do that all day. Oh all right guys, we got a few more reactions. We got Z and Pasha, both I haven't seen in a little while. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. I did not know it was like it's that. <laughs> It's wow. A, when we say sky bridge, wow. we're just about finishing it up right now. Like dream setup right there. <laughs> dream setup, yeah. Yo, this is gonna be fun. Dude. It's quite the setup. This has never been done. Good old sky bridge. Good old sky bridge. And just like that, guys, four days later, I am sitting on what is the first ever sky bridge I ever built over a backyard pool. This thing is insane. And we haven't even begun to explore the possibilities of what we can do on this crazy bridge. We're definitely gonna be doing last one to fall off by riding bicycles across, hoverboards. And the best part of this whole thing is that all the girls, AKA Liz and Denise, did not think that this was possible. So we just proved them wrong. So you guys comment down below and say boys rule because we pulled this off in just four days. And I can't wait to get the look on Liz's face when she sees this thing hovering above the backyard pool. We'll see you guys on the next vlog and keep an eye out for it last to fall off this crazy sky bridge. Peace. You guys ready for the next video? Click right here or right here. Also check out teamrar.com. We got some awesome stuff like this plushie, this backpack, shirts, hats, everything that you could ever want. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button right here and I'll see you guys on that next vlog. Click right there or right here. Do something. <laughs>